The results of the Carfax 400 looked like this. Vickers at number one, Jimmy Johnson wound up 33rd. But how about Sam I Am, Green Eggs and Ham, Sam Hornish Jr. finishing fifth? Mike Thompson has reaction from the Pride of Defiance. Last week at Watkins Glen was a rough one for Sam Hornis Jr. and the Mobile One Dodge team. So a crash took him out of the race. But today at MIS, it was some late race gambling that paid off and got him a top five finish. When we restarted uh, before that, we were about three laps short, and then we got three laps yellow or, or more. So I mean, we thought that we were going to be pretty close, but uh, you just never know until you get to the get to the checkered. I saw that our car was getting better and better. It just that that pit road penalty, you know, really caught us behind and, you know, um, but, you know, you never know, you can't second guess how you get to the end, it just, that's, that's how our race played out today. You get finishes like this and you realize, you know, this stuff isn't impossible, you can do it, and I think that's what everybody on this uh, Mobile One Dodge team's realizing right now, we have what it takes to fight back and still get a great finish. Well, he doesn't have to impress me, uh, he raced for me in the IndyCar series and delivered the bacon and he's going to do it here too. So for the second time in three weeks, Sam Hornish Jr. finishes in the top five. Mobile One Dodge team behind me takes apart the car. They get ready to pack up and head out to Bristol, where Sam Hornish Jr. looks to capture his first career Sprint Cup Series win. At MIS for Hardcore Sports, I'm Mike Thompson.